Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these... Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown, DC. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Good jab. Powerful leg kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in this one. 27 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Head kick there blocked by Nurmagomedov. Nice leg kick. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now it's his mount. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. in the fight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nermago Meta. to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. 
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the buck. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off. Oh, nice. really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Slips the left hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, nice land there by Nermago. Now, when he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line. And defensively, that's exactly what you're doing. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Good punch, Lance. Over and over, he landed big body kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Grabbing the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? is good by Nurmago Medov. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the puck. Oh, single collar tie here. Landed a good uppercut there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Hermago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Every 
times these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Jock in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Defense. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. 30 seconds to go in round two. And they separate. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice knee to the midsection there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Tags him with the overhead. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rick. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, big shot to the body. Visibly limping here. Great punch landing. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Oh, collar tied. Oh, and he caught the kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clip. Back and forth we go! All right, single so collar tie now. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Close guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Nermago Meadow. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So making 151 total strikes are now landed for Khabib Nermago Meta. Well, a lot of connections, obviously, DC, and landing with 54% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice loop and punch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Just over two minutes now to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. A oh, little single collar tie there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. 
All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. And they separate. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and throw that big elbow around the guard. One minute. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, and he caught the kick. Gets the elbow up into the target. And they separate. Checks the leg kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. by that head kick. He's, he's lifting now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator, not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. And there comes the separation now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go here. Big leg kick land. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Right hand on point. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Big kick lands. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, big head kick. Nice punch there. Right hook to the head block. Straight right, he misses. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. 
It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Right hand pushing the clinch. Takedown defense holds up. Single collar tie. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Jeez, please. Hands high, hands high. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. There's no give on that leg. Shows shot. him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Nermago Medov. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, single collar tie here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Nice straight punch. 30 seconds to go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets next underway. Round, His strong yeah. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, collar tie. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, Lance. Zermago Medov's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. All right, single collar tie now. Is out of scramble, folks. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plump, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plant. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Checks the leg kick, mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg oh, nice is him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Punch over the top. Oh, 
Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Can't take many of those, you better check. Head kicks. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh! Nice strike. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Right hand punch for clinch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Unable to land with that punch. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Big and kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Seconds now to go on the fight. Good stick. Battling for hooks. Way to hide that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision.